Ten years ago today, an expectant mother was shot along Ray Road. Sharika Adams' name became national news. Her former boyfriend, then Carolina Panther Ray Carruth, was implicated in the murder. Sharika's mother has raised the baby boy who was born prematurely that night. When I set out to talk with Mrs. Adams one-on-one, -on -one, I wasn't sure what to expect. What I found moved me in a way that no other story has in a while. Good morning. Sandra Good Adams morning. invites us to join her and her grandson at his weekly therapy session. Chancellor Lee is not the least bit camera shy. Yeah. These two-hour sessions are something he's known his whole life. Whoa. In the van, that's right. He's come a very long way, and he's very motivated. He's probably the hardest worker that I have. One! Lee has cerebral palsy. Go, go, Bingo. He works so hard to do what most 10-year-olds take for granted. Right, squeeze it out. Walking. Going up steps. Perfect. Opening doors. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. If I say you want to take a rest break, it's not long before he's hopping up ready to go again. His grandmother is proud and amazed. They were, you know, very reluctant to say that he was going to walk independently or be able to talk or even do feeding himself or, you know, the things that he is doing now. Even after an exhausting therapy session, Lee is joyful and happy returning to school. Just in time for lunch. He knows that God loves him and his mommy angel is watching over him and she loves him. And is that what you call yes, Sharika? Yes, I call Sharika his mommy angel. Sharika was Sandra Adams' only child. She was eight months pregnant when she was shot on that November night 10 years ago. Miss Adams. Sandra tells me her strong faith is the only way she made it through the weeks after the shooting. That verse that says you have a peace that passes all understanding, it was the rhema word for me. You know, that was the living word for me at that time. The circus-like atmosphere surrounding the trial for the NFL player often left her feeling enraged. In court, she watched as Ray Carruth, the man she had known as Sharika's boyfriend, seemed to smirk at her daily. I, I almost thought the trial was, okay, my daughter is the one dead. Y'all are not focusing on her death. Do you hear from him? Uh, not now. I used to hear from Ray a lot. She tells me the letters stopped after Ray's legal appeals were exhausted, and he still denies masterminding the plot to kill Sharika. I was stuck on that for a little while that I really wanted him to tell me he was sorry, but, you know, I don't even need that anymore. I don't even need that anymore. God has really uh, matured me to a different level. What I find most remarkable about Sandra is her message about forgiving the four men convicted in the crime. You had forgiven him by the time of the trial. None of them were going to keep me in bondage. All because Sharika was having a baby Ruth didn't want to support. And the only way for me to be out of bondage was to immediately forgive them and open that door for my soul to be free. Hatred, she believes, is non-productive. Instead, this tragedy has led her on a mission. She speaks out often for peace. And it's really a shame that the number one killer of pregnant women it's murder. And Sandra is convinced Lee has a ministry too. I believe that we come equipped already with what we're to use in life. So I believe it's a smile in his eyes. Yeah. Doctors predicted a limited life, but Sandra and Lee together are finding they can stretch the limits farther than anyone thought. I just know he was going to be loved. Good job. In my opinion, Good love can just conquer almost anything that, that, that you got to face.